Hi, I'm Julie Goodwin, and right now I'm going to show you a really, really simple and beautiful dessert to make. You know, for those nights when you just know you're going to want something sweet, but you don't want to mess around for a really long time. This is called Coconut Impossible Pie. And the impossible thing about it is that you just add some ingredients together and bake it, and it turns into this lovely custard on the bottom, and as you get to the top, it's got a beautiful crust without having to fuss around with pastry or anything like that. So I'm going to show you this lovely simple dessert and then hopefully you'll make it and you'll get to eat it like I'm going to do after this. So the first thing you need to do is grease a sort of a lamington sized tin or a terracotta um, baking dish like this or a Pyrex dish or a pie dish, whatever you have. And to grease it, all you need to do is use a little bit of baking paper with your butter and just rub it over. I'm just going to pop this in the microwave to soften down. That's 125 grams of butter. It'll take about 30 to 45 seconds. So I'll put it in for 30, give it a stir and give it a few more. Okay, while that's melting, I'm going to get the eggs and the sugar into my bowl. I'm going to whisk those up. So we've got four eggs and a cup of sugar. I'm going to whisk this until it's pale and creamy. So you can see they've gone beautiful and thick and fluffy and that's what you're looking for, that pale creaminess. Okay, we're going to add into that the butter. And I'm going to put in two generous teaspoons of vanilla and this is a vanilla bean paste so it's the best sort of quality that, um, that you can use. I prefer to use a vanilla bean paste or a vanilla extract to vanilla essence because uh, vanilla essence is artificial but this is made from real vanilla beans. And then in with two cups of milk. and give that a good mix together. So now I'm just gonna fold through some dry ingredients and it's ready to cook. We're gonna to add to that a cup of desiccated coconut, half a cup of plain flour. The rise in this comes from the air in your eggs. And then it's, the recipe calls for the zest of a lemon, but I'm going to use the zest of an orange because I'm growing a million of these on trees in my backyard at the moment. So I'm going to use this lovely orange for a bit of a different flavour. I'm just going to gently fold that through because you don't want to overwork the flour, otherwise you start to work the gluten and it gets tough and you don't want to knock all the air out that you beat into your eggs earlier on. So once you've made sure there's no lumps in that, you're just going to pour it into your prepared dish. And all I'm going to do is pop that into an oven at 170 degrees for about 40 minutes or until it's golden brown and set. Easy. So there's our beautiful impossible pie. So I've got this beautiful golden crust. You can see that around the top. It smells divine and coconutty and orangey. And it's just got a slight little wibble to it. And that's the custard underneath. A simple dessert, no mucking around, but something really delicious for the end of a cold night dinner.